Hello and welcome to the episode 351 of What A Fab Day. I am your host, Simon Mas. Today we have a return to the stage, a photo shooting, and a third appearance on BBC's Saturday Club. And more, of course. On the 17th of December 1960, the Beatles, with Pete Best on drums and Chaz Newby on bass, performed at the Casbah Coffee Club in Liverpool. It was their first concert after their return from their first day in Hamburg. To celebrate the event, Mona Best, owner of the Casbah and mother of Pete, and a family friend called Neil Aspinall covered the club with posters with the writing Return of the Fabulous Beatles and The Beatles, direct from Hamburg, Germany. The band performed in front of a full house, expecting a German band to take the stage. Nobody was disappointed, though. Gone were the days of tentative, shabby performances. Hamburg had transformed the Beatles into an entertainment powerhouse. Big day in 1961, with the Beatles having their first professional photo shooting. The idea was Brian Epstein's, their new manager, a first step to what he considered a proper launch of the band. For the occasion, Epstein hired Albert Marion, a wedding photographer, who completed his job in his Wallace studio in the morning. That night, the Beatles had another show at the Casbah Coffee Club. Obviously, by this time, Chaz Newby had left the band and Paul McCartney had taken on bass duties. On this date in 1962, the Beatles, now in their definitive lineup with Ringo Starr on drums, appeared for the third time on Granada Television's People and Places. This was a live broadcast from Studio 4 of the Granada TV Centre in Manchester. The lads rehearsed their bit from 3 to 4 pm and then played Love Me Do and Twist and Shout during the 6.35 to 7 pm show. 1963, between 3 and 6.30 pm, the Beatles were at the Playhouse Theatre in London to record an appearance on BBC Radio's Saturday Club. The band performed All My Loving, This Boy, I Want to Hold Your Hand, Till There Was You, Roll Over Beethoven and She Loves You, plus a spoof on Dora Bryant's chart hit All I Want for Christmas is a Beatle, becoming All I Want for Christmas is a Bottle, and a medley of Love Me Do, Please Please Me, From Me to You, She Loves You, I Want to Hold Your Hand, and Randolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, all in 29 seconds. It must be another record. The show was broadcast on the 21st of December between 10 am and 12 noon. 30 minutes of the show, featuring All My Loving and This Boy, were also rebroadcast abroad by the BBC's General Overseas Service. On the 17th of December 1967, Ringo Starr flew back to London from Rome, Italy, after having concluded the work for his first solo acting role, for the film Candy. And what better chance to remind you to support me and my work? After all, if you've been listening so far, I should have brought you at least some joy. Please then, Visit www.simonmas.com support and see how you can show me some love. Thank you! 1969. On this date, John Lennon and Yoko Ono gave a press conference in Toronto, Canada, focusing on their peace campaign and specifically on its last chapter, the War is Over poster campaign. The couple talked about other ideas, like a three-day festival to be held in Toronto the following July, perhaps with the Beatles performing live, but none of these ideas ever came to fruition. On the other side of the Atlantic, between 8 and 10 pm, engineer Jeff Emerick produced a number of stereo mixes of the Plastic Ono Band Lyceum concert of the 15th of December see episode 349 for that. John Lennon obviously wasn't present, and so Emmerich worked alone. The mixes wouldn't be released until 1972, 
with further overdubs made on them in 1971. This is it for today, but don't worry, there will be more tomorrow. For the moment, I wish you a good day and a fab continuation. Simon Mas, music you love.